okay so uh, nra test basically nra test will basically relax the accommodation and measure its uh, measure the amount of maximum accommodation that can be relaxed okay so normal value of nra is plus 2.5 right and pra is actually by pra test we are what we are doing we are uh, stimulating the accommodation we are stimulating the accommodation and, and measuring till how much accommodation can be stimulated okay a normal person should have an uh, pra uh, the pra value should be around minus 2.5 why because he should be able to stimulate his accommodation like that okay so if the pra value is higher if you get a minus 3.5 minus 4 minus 5 pra value sometimes also we get in case of some patients how can we get that that means the patient may not, uh, may be having some kind of like he is under corrected for if he is a myopic patient he may be under corrected okay so in that case you can get a greater pra uh, value so these things can happen also like if the refraction is not correct you can get a higher pra value but the question is that question is that if the pra value is less what may be the reason so if it is lesser than minus 2.5 minus 2.5 diopter if it is lesser than that then what is the problem so maybe what is the problem if the pra value is lesser that means the patient cannot stimulate the accommodation or cannot stimulate the accommodation properly right so if you get a less amount of positive relative accommodation value means a lesser amount of pra value along with that your amplitude of accommodation is also less your amplitude of accommodation is also less along with the a uh, lesser amount of pra value that means the patient might have an accommodative insufficiency okay patient might have an accommodative insufficiency that may be the problem for the patient is it clear to all of you this nra pra test is very important test you do it in a routine practice in an orthoptic evaluation test you you cannot miss this test to do because it gives a lot of it gives a lot of information because this pra value also this pra value is related with the nfp value in found in the step vergence test we'll come to that later how to do the step vergence test so the negative fusional value and the negative fusional vergence and the pra value both are related okay basically pra value and nfp value should correlate should be correlated with each other okay suppose in case of higher pra uh, when it is correlated with the uh, when it is correlated with the negative fusional vergence value so maybe it is nfv value is higher so that that may be the reason the pra value is higher so that can also happen but if pra is less that means the patient might have accommodation insufficiency that means he cannot stimulate the accommodation to a larger extent to the normal extent okay and if nra value is less that means he cannot relax the accommodation to a proper extent so these are the these are the findings what we get in nra pra test okay